this object. So here we can discuss with software. Once the software is available, then only the testing is available. Without software, there is no testing. So what is the software? Software is nothing but set of statements, logic and related data which gives instruction to the system to perform a task based on you say is called as a some software so who will develop the software developers will develop the software once they are developed it is given to the test engineers for the purpose of testing so how to develop it there is some life cycle later on we will discuss about this life cycle so first of all what is the software software is nothing but some set of statements logic and related data related data which gives instructions to the system to perform a task based on our usage is called as a software generally there are two types of software are there there are two types of softwares so what is that one is product based software project based software hmm. these are all the two types are there one is product based second one is project based hmm. so what is the difference between product and project what is the difference between product and project suppose here you can see some applications are there here suppose gmail is there or google is there or if you go to some spice jet this application is there multiple applications are there see in all these which one is project and which one is the product which one is the spice jet is a project spice jet is a project gmail is a product so how to identify that what is the project what is the product a product means a software developed based on a standard or generic requirements means universal requirements they can develop an application and they can make it as a open source or they can sell it to any customer that is called as a product base gmail yahoo mail facebook all are called as a product based softwares why because they are developing one software based on standard requirement generic requirements and that can be selling to any customer or they can make it as open source such is our base called as product based software whatever the project project means based on a particular client requirement suppose for example spicejet.com is there so value labs company they developed one application based on that spicejet company requirements so a software can be developed based on a particular client requirements and that should be delivered to that particular client only such software is called as project based example spicejet hdfcbank.com icicibank.com all are called as a project based why because a particular client is there based on their requirements they are developing one software product means based on the universal requirements they are developing it and they can sell it to any customer or they can make it as open source that is called as a product based mm -hmm. software so any organization they are developing product based software and project based software the first one product based software product based means whenever one software developed based on standard or generic requirements and that can be selling to 
customer or they can make it as an open source such software is called as product based software so whenever one application is developed standard or generic requirements and that should be selling to any customer or they can make it as an open source such software is called as a product based software all these are what about the second category project based project means based on a particular client requirements they are developing an application and that should be delivered to that particular client only he will pay the maintenance about that project such a software is called as project based software so what is the project project means whenever software develop based on a particular client requirements and that should be delivered that particular client only such software is called as project based example hcfcbank.com icicibank.com spicejet.com all this comes under the project based software so software is product based is there project based is there product means based on the universal requirement they can develop they can sell it to any customer or they can make it as open source is called as a product based project based means whenever a software developed based on a particular client requirements and that should be delivered to that particular client only that is called as a project based so based on the type of work two types of companies are there in industry based on the type of work there are two types of companies in industry one is product based second one is service based product based and service based product based means company which will focus on their own products such software is called as product based companies example microsoft oracle hp company these companies are developed their own products and they can release into the market service based means these companies are develop individual client projects tcs wipro infosys all these are they developed individual client projects so companies also two types of companies are there product based company and service based company product based means company which will focus on their own products to develop all this comes under product based service based means 
a company which will develop projects for individual kinds company which will develop projects for individual clients that is called as service based so now tell me what is a company what is the client and who are the end users so here we are discussing i am telling company sometimes i am speaking about client or customer and third person end user what is the difference between these three who is the company who are the client and customer and who are the end users means company means it is an organization where one application will be developed it is an organization where application will be developed that is called as a company so who are the clients and customers who are the client and customer it is an organization or a individual person who will provide requirements to develop an application that is called as client or customer see these are all the only the time of entry purpose not important okay only basics only these are all the, what is the software what is product based what is project based and who are the company client all these are the basics only here once i start sdlc from there actual classes will start sdlc software development life cycle stlc software testing life cycle from sdlc topic will be starts here these are the only basics are there understanding purpose all these are okay client and customer either it is an organization or individual person who will provide requirements to develop an application so who are the client client is nothing but who will provide the requirements to the company those people are called as a client who will develop the application those are called as a company now who are the end users we are the hmm users of the application yes users means who will be use after it work environment with the real data suppose if you want to book a ticket in spice jet if you want to book a ticket in spice jet suppose you can see if i am clicking on hyderabad to the bangalore okay after that this month 30th one and then find place so if i want to provide my original data at the live environment then only i am the end user suppose if i am using any dummy details is it possible to book a ticket no no so who are the people providing correct data at the time of live environment of application those people are called as end users so end user means who will be use software at work environment with real data so here i am telling one word environment what is an environment 
how many environments are there for your project who will be used after that work environment with real data so how many environments are there for your project for every project there are four environments are there common different environments in your project for every project there are four environments are there so what are the four environments one is development and measurement second one test or environment third one uat and measurement fourth one production there are the four environments are there for your project for first one development development environment is nothing but so to test an application first we need to develop it without development there is no testing concept why because once the developer they can develop an application successfully then only it is given to the test engineer for the purpose of testing so for every project first developers they can involve to develop an application based on the client requirement that process is called as development process so how to develop it there is one life cycle is there that life cycle is sdlc next topic this is software development life cycle how to develop one application based on the client requirement within the specified cost and time it describes sdlc software development life cycle in that detail i will explain so first one development environment in this environment development team will involve to develop an application based on client requirement that environment is called as development environment once the development team is successfully implemented project that will be deployed or installed at the time of test environment to validate an application based on the requirements so what is our responsibility our responsibility is to test one application and identify the defects to test one application and identify the defect that is called as the second one test or staging environment after successfully implementation of a project that will be deployed or installed at a test environment to validate an application based on the requirement so based on the client requirements if an application is developed that is called as development environment once it is successfully implemented as a test engineer our responsibility is 
is it properly working or not based on the client requirements that is called as a testing so who will be involved for testing some separate testing team is there So as a test engineer, once we can test an application successfully, no defects in the application, we are handed over to the client. So at that time, that environment is called as UAT environment. UAT means user acceptance testing environment. So in this environment client team involved validating an application in order to confirm whether the project is acceptable or not means whether the project is ready for the release or not that is they can test it by the client why because in organization as a test engineer we are tested that application no errors no defect so once again we are hand out to the client again client team will perform it whether the project is ready for the release or not so here in UAT they will perform two types of testings are there alpha testing and beta testing later on we will discuss the difference what is alpha and what is beta what is alpha testing and what is beta testing alpha means client come to our organization test one application beta means application will be deployed at the client side and test it so later on we will discuss about that uat user acceptance testing once uat is completed yes client is satisfied with our work product then client that release into the market that is called as the last word production or live environment so now we are seeing the live applications those are called as production or live the so last one is production environment production means In this environment, application used by end users with real data. This is also called as live. Now we are in gmail.com, facebook.com, all this live means. That is also called as a production. So these four are common for every project. First they can develop it. After that it is given to the test engineer. After that we are hand out to the client. Again client will perform the testing. That is called as UAT user acceptance testing. Finally production means after client satisfied on our work product. They can release into the market. That is called as production or live. Last one. What is the difference between system software and application software? Is there any difference is there between system software and application software? Yes. Yes. System software is nothing but it is developed by using assembly languages means system device driver operating systems OS all the component system software means this is also called as BIOS basic input and output system why because suppose I want to install it yeah 
ఇక్కడ సింబల్ అది కనెక్టింగ్ టు ఆడియో అని వస్తుంది అయితే లేదు వినిపిస్తుంది సో దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ఏ బయోస్ బేసిక్ ఇన్పుట్ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ సిస్టమ్ దీస్ ఆర్ యూస్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ బిట్వీన్ సిస్టమ్ కంపెనీ సపోజ్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎన్ ల్యాప్టాప్ ఇస్ దేర్ ఐ నీడ్ టు ఇన్స్టాల్ జావా సాఫ్ట్వేర్ or i need to install some eclipse or i need to play some songs i need to play some video so if you want to perform anything operating system is compulsory yes or no yes. without os is it possible to use laptop or desktop anything no. No. no operating system is mandatory suppose after that if i want to play any songs if you go to any youtube any go to any audio audio drivers are required you want to play any movie graphics cards are required so all these device drivers operating system bios setup all these are called as your system software also called as bios basic input and these are used to provide interface among system components examples device driver operating system what about applications of there what about these applications of for specific uh... applications of in nothing but see this front end software suppose if we want to take a book a ticket we need some some front end software is required spicejet.com yes yes suppose if you want to log into the gmail yes you need this application without this front end application is it possible to log into your application no well, because suppose if i send some notes or if i send some link to your mail how to log into your mail and hope how to open that mail and how to get the data compulsory need to log into your mail id means we need some front end application that application is called as your application software why they are developing this application software based on our business needs they can develop this front end why because to manipulate data into database we need front end application so manipulate data into database means suppose in my gmail you can check it i have some mails are there i want to read the mails some important mail is there some link is there some notes is there i want to take that data the data is available in google server how to get the data by using this front end application i can log in and i can take that data suppose there is some unnecessary mails are there suppose there are some unnecessary mails are there simply you can log in and you can delete that mails so these mails are in server suppose if i want to know mails so i can check this select the check boxes and you can delete it so we are manipulating data into database suppose i want to delete the data yes i want to delete i want to retrieve some data from the mail yes you can retrieve it so to manipulate data into database we need one application that this front end application is called as application software suppose you can see here if i am taking one way hyderabad to bangalore flights where it will come the data the data is not available in my machine but where it will come it will come from spicejet server so we are manipulating data we are taking data from their server see this information is available in my machine this flights information is it available in my machine no no all this data is available somewhere else their servers it is available so i need to take that data so we need some application software that is called as front end we can call it as a front end
also called as a front end application. These are developed based on user business needs. Whereas front end is used to manipulate data into database. So for that purpose, we need front end applications. So in this front end application, again, there are three types are there. One is desktop application, web application, mobile application. These are all the three types of applications are there. Desktop means system based. Within the only single system, it is available. Suppose if you go to the Eclipse, Eclipse is one of the desktop application where we got. Eclipse is available in my machine. I install this. I can download it from the server. And I can use it in my machine. Suppose if I go to calculator. Yes, it is a desktop. MS Paint. Paint is also one of the Windows based. In my machine it is available. So all these are called as desktop applications or standalone applications within the machine it is available what about the web applications web application is nothing but these are gmail yahoo mail spyjet icc bank hdfc bank if net is available if i can open any application that is called as web application what about the third one mobile application in our mobiles also some applications are there WhatsApp, Skype, so many applications are there. So whatever the applications are available in our mobile, Hike, Hangout, something are there, okay? So all are called as a mobile application. So as a test engineer, our role is to test either a desktop application, web application or mobile application. Mm -hmm. So this is only the introduction part about the software. It is not required, but only for basics I'm explaining. What is a software? What is the difference between project-based and product-based software? And what is the difference between client, company, and end users? How many environments for a project? Four are there, development, test, UAT, and production. And what is the difference between system software and applications? Now, either it is a desktop or it is a web application, how to develop one application software? How to develop a software? Why? Because once we have knowledge on to develop a software, then we can test that application. So software development life cycle. This is one of the life cycle. SDLC means software. Yes. So what it describes, it describes the developing process of a software like project or product to satisfy the customer requirements within the specific cost and time. So it describes the developing process of a software. Either it is a project or maybe it is a product. To fulfill all the client requirements. We 
within the specified cost and time. So what are the phases are there in SDLC? What are the phases in SDLC? How many pages are there? Yes, requirements, mm -hmm. collection. Third one? Devil. Development. Designing. Mm -hmm. After that, coding. Mm -hmm. After that, testing. Finally, maintenance and this first one requirements, analysis, design, coding, testing, release, and maintenance. These are all the phases are there in the SDLC. So, once we thorough with this SDLC concept, next we go for how to test one application that is very, very important to the test engineer. So this life cycle is very, very important to the developer. But we should have some knowledge about this SDLC is very, very important. Why? Because without knowledge on SDLC, testing is one of the phase of SDLC. So with some knowledge on SDLC, we can test one application. We can test one application. So first phase experiment. So it is some lengthy concept. No, I will explain. But today I will draw one diagram. So first phase is requirements collection. Who will provide requirements? Client. Mm, yes, definitely. Client will provide the. So, okay. In company, who will gather those requirements? Business. Mm -hmm. Marketing. Marketing. Marketing and business. Business analyst? Yes. So the first phase, requirements collection. So in organization, who will collect these requirements? It is collected by business analyst. BA will collect the data. And whatever the data is collected by the BA, those documents they can make it as a one document. The document is called as what is the document? Business requirement. Business requirement. Those documents have some name is there for the document. BRS. Yes. And BRS. Application document. Business requirement specification. Specification document. Yes. So we will prepare it. We will prepare it. So business analyst will prepare that data. Those documents are called as BRS or different names. SRS. Yes, BRS or they can call it as SRS or they can call it as URS. All are same. Business requirement specification, software requirement specification, user requirement specification. Once it is completed, BA, after that, second one is analysis phase. In analysis, the BA, the BRS will be given to the 
system analyst it will be given to the system analyst analysis design coding testing really and maintenance so who will perform analysis it will be done by business analyst no 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 business analyst will prepare already requirements these will be given to the system system analyst yes, yes. system analyst system analyst he will prepare one document those documents are called as frs functional yes frs functional requirement specification so system analyst will prepare it the individual functionalities are available in this documentation part this is the fr next one is design who will perform designing ye yeah. design architect architect yes design is done by the design architect he will prepare design documentations so those documents he will prepare three types of documents are there what are the three documents gui designing database designing application designing three documents he will prepare one is gui database and application once the designing is completed based on that developers will perform coding so the next one is coding part who will perform developers will perform once the completed the output of this phase is scd that is called as source code document In whatever the developer given that file that is called as source code document after that it is given for the testing purpose and who will perform testing qa quality analyst if we are performing testing that is called as system testing so as a testing unit if we perform that is called as a system testing who will perform qa will perform So if you are perform testing, suppose sometimes, not sometimes, every time after QA, client will perform testing. That type of testing is called as. So if test engineer we can perform is called as a system testing. After QA, client will perform that type of testing is called as. User. acceptance testing acceptance testing once it is completed finally client is satisfied with our work product they can release and maintenance finally release and maintenance this is sdlc life cycle so here 
phase by phase everything is there ba how we gather the requirements that is the sglc procedure but this sglc is very very important to developer not for the test engineer remember as a test engineer we have one life cycle is there that is called as yes tlc software testing life cycle that life cycle is very very important to the test engineer but as a tester we should have some knowledge is required as a test engineer some knowledge is required for the sdlc due to that reason first time explaining sdlc after that i go for sdlc why because here testing is there how to perform this testing that life cycle is called as sdlc software testing life cycle so this requirements collection analysis design is some lengthy concept is there so it will take so much time one session it will take so chuma 